Hello everybody, welcome back. With the advent of dental technology today, we have been able to adopt a completely bladeless approach to dental surgery. You guessed it right, we are talking about a dental laser. So join me now as I'm about to perform a minor surgical procedure with the help of a dental laser. So this is the BioLase Epic laser that I will use for the procedure today. This is quite a portable console and it comes with this autoclavable handpiece. This handpiece will fit in like this. It is important to take care that the cord does not bend at a sharp angle. That may damage the fiber inside. It also comes with this wireless foot control. You also have an initiation kit which is used to activate or initiate the laser tip. These are the tips which may be used for the procedure. These are basically three different color coded tips having various applications. We are going to use the 400 micron white colored surgical tip for the procedure. Once you turn on the console, you can select the procedure that you want to perform. Since I will be performing an operculectomy, I will use the excision option here. Now irrespective of what laser you use, the procedure basically remains the same. As you can see, the preferences are already set and you may also change the settings if at all you need to. Let us now move over to the patient. This patient reported with acute pain in the 3-8 region. You can see the hypertrophic soft tissue due to which the patient had a lot of food lodgement and inflammation. I shall first anesthetize the patient using some lignocaine with a 30 gauge needle. Once the patient is numb, I will get the laser ready. My assistant has already applied a protective film onto the screen to prevent any contamination. It's also very important to have safety glasses on for the patient as well as the operator. The settings are ready and now we need to activate or initiate the tip before we start. The laser is now ready to be used. As you can see, I am holding on to the hypertrophic tissue while I use gentle back and forth movements to cut through the tissue. Also notice that I am deliberately creating some tension so that I can cut through easily. You can see that there is no bleeding and that according to me is the most important factor. Healing is going to be much faster, there are less chances of infection and the patient is much more comfortable post-operatively. You can see that the tissue has been excised now. I am just going to remove all the tissue tags which may be present. Once the procedure is complete, I will apply some vitamin E gel onto the site. The patient has been advised to apply this gel onto the site periodically. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.